1940 and Emmy Lichtenfeld walks into the Kit Kat Club in Bratislava. As the door closes behind him, the room goes silent and the music stops. He's not welcome here. Not by the bartender who fears the trouble his presence will cause, not by the bouncer who knows he's outmatched, nor from the table of wannabe Nazis sitting in the corner. He bellies up to the bar and orders a drink, an illegal act as a Jew in the Slovak Republic at this time. This is one of the many reasons that he's leaving the country tomorrow, but today, he's proving a point. He spills the contents of his glass down his throat and turns towards the door, giving the fascists a condescending wink on the way out. As the door closes behind him, the music starts and the conversation begins again. This is the story of Emmy Lichtenfeld, father of Krav Maga and badass Jew. Emmy Lichtenfeld is born in 1910 to a Jewish family living in Bratislava. His father Samuel is a legendary lawman and skilled martial artist. He trains Emmy from an early age. In his youth, Emmy is a nationally recognized boxer, wrestler, and gymnast, and according to the young women of Bratislava, a heck of a dancer as well. In 1936, facing violent anti-Semitism, Emmy forms a team of athletes to defend the Jewish community. He teaches them the most effective techniques from his arsenal of martial arts knowledge. In 1940, he boards a leaky ship bound for Palestine, saving a passenger who falls overboard and rounds. After a two-year detour of service with the Czech Free Legion, he finally arrives at his destination in 1942. By 1944 and for the next 20 years, he's a trainer in the IDF, codifying his self-defense techniques into what we now know as Krav Maga. Emmy retires in 1964 and adapts Krav Maga for civilian use, training the next generation of practitioners who spread his techniques around the world. In 1998, after a lifetime of creating a simple path to self-defense for people around the world, he passes away in Israel. Emmy Lichtenfeld, Badass Jew.